fast way. So, opportunity for the Saints to steal the march here. Butler, can he keep on from last week? There's your answer. Saints by five. Grundy with the tap. The numbers multiply side bottom with the instant give, and look what it's created. Tyler Brown got involved. Penderbury did a beautiful kick again to the leading forward. Out to Gresham. He's cornered. Had to find a way out. Ross's kick smothered. Sits there for Caulfield. Main. This is relentless pressure from Collingwood, and it tells in the end. And he's able to flash straight onto it, and there's another goal on the board. But Wills again, and those critical contests are being won by Collingwood at the moment. Pendlebury with the handball, Adams with the kick. They come at centre-half forward long, went to ground. Majacek didn't, well, eventually did, no free kick. Brown, terrific handball, should be finished off by Elliott. They are right over the top of them at the moment, the Pies. And here go the Pies on the march through the middle of the MCG. Steele, living up to his name, brilliantly done on Taylor Adams. That could only be one result. Hasn't really been cited yet, the young man who's been so impressive. He's, well, he was trying to get into the frame there, but that's just trademark calling it, isn't it, and Jeremy Howe? Ross, top of the square, right up. Almost. Loney, one of their little guys, come in and make an impact. He's taken the ball with him. He manufactured something. Gresham, they need something from Marshall. He's developing as a young Ruckman. Last minute then of the opening turn, which has largely been dominated by this team here, Collingwood. And they're on the move again to go to Hoskin Elliott. Stevenson came late. Here's side bottom in an instant. Collingwood answer. For seconds, my check disposed of. So there's good intent from the Saints here. Ross feeds it back to Long. It's a haphazard kick. So they could take another intercept mark here, Collingwood. Unless Max King. Darcy. Cameron, but the mark is taken instead by Carlisle. There's some danger about that kick. It was short. They're going to get out of it. Howard blasts away again, and this is all Collingwood alone. Howard got sport by his own teammate, and Butler again. He's come to the bench already. Look at this hit. Oh, he might have been just winded. Sounds like you've been hit by. Oh, it's going to see mark of the year today. Elliott takes his turn. That's four high flies we've seen from Collingwood players. Crisp. Winding his way through, kept them guessing. Will's got him closer to goal. Crisp sets it up. Terrific body work. It got wiped out as you saw by Billings. Pendlebury delayed the give again. Brown gets into dangerous space. He won't like that kick. Hannabury at full stretch couldn't stop it completely though. Tyler Brown, he's got a step and he's got a kick that is on target. Yes. Already up to 11 possessions. Is there any Rush again, the centre half forward, side bottom, inside 50, straight ahead Adams, he knows he's got it. From the moment it left the boot, he was into celebration mode. Issues, but he got a, a kick away at least. Noble makes it full on and uses Crisp, and then how again, the collaboration of the Collingwood defence is outstanding. Dacos can take his choice, as he, he goes wide to how he kept on going. And then short to Mike. Squeezed out of their team and came back forward. Stevenson sends it high and wide. An awkward wait as my tech came running. Caulfield. The pressure remains immense. Oh, Billings in the last minute. He handballed. He coughed it up. And that is very costly. And he is full of indecision. It's been good, Chris. Man, that was too much air. It hung there for a while. Billings onto it. And now Marsh takes the mark. Actually, give your forwards a chance. Oh, Hill. It's a litany of errors now. Now they're just getting a little bit desperate. So Hill ran back down there, desperate to get that ball to bring it out. Collingwood, on the other hand, are doing the job time and time again. The immediate danger passes. Butler hunts it down. And he turns smartly oh. and he backs his pace. It's genuine. Terrific play by Dan Butler. Five, less than six foot. Oh, geez, what a hit. Copping it. He is tough. That is a big hit. The forward six with Stevenson up there. If they're going to... Here's another there chance for them. Elliot off to Adams. He's becoming a goal kicker for the Pies. He's put it through. They're just reminding us at all that they are one of the top contenders. They were dominant in round one. They had that low-scoring draw against the Tigers in round two. But back to their best today. Hasn't really been cited yet, the young man who's been so impressive. He's 
Well, he was trying to get into the yes. frame there, but that's just trademark Collingwood, isn't it? And Jeremy Howe. Out, Ross is kick smothered. Sits there for Caulfield. Main. This is relentless pressure from Collingwood, and it tells in the end. And he's able to flash straight onto it, and there's another goal on the board. And an awkward wait as my tech came running. Coffee. The pressure remains immense. Oh, Billings at the last minute, he handballed, he coughed it up. And that is very costly. He's developing as a young ruckman. Last minute then of the opening turn, which has largely been dominated by this team here, Collingwood. And they're on the move again to go to Hoskin Elliott. Stevenson came late. Here's side bottom in an instant. Collingwood answer. Already up to 11 possessions. Is there in a rush again? The centre half forward, side bottom, inside 50, straight ahead, Adams. He knows he's got it. From the moment it left the boot, he was into celebration mode.